Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Friday. It's the 20th of September already, and you are watching The Real Wheel Live. My name's Adam. I'm going to be spinning for you for the next 45 minutes. We've got a super-sized session to finish off the week, so let's get the 45 minutes on the timer, and let's get the wheel in motion, and we're spinning from the day's date, which is number 20. Now, do expect a bunch of no-spins today, because I've polished the wheel. And when I polish the wheel, it becomes very, very slippery. You can just about see my big bingo wings there, can't you, in the hand cam? All right, the first result together of today is 15. Now, 15, it's a black, odd, and low number in the third column, in the second dozen, and part of the voisin section of the wheel. So we're starting with black 15. And we're going to move on from 15. As soon as the confirmation disappears, I shall take the ball and re-spin. So, moving on from 15 to our next result, what is it going to be this time? Well, one result on the board, you can see it on the left-hand side of your screen, underneath where it says latest results, it doesn't lie. Although at the moment it's just latest results singular, isn't it? And our next number, a very bouncy ball into the date, number 20. Now, number 20 is a black and even number in the middle dozen, in the high numbers, and in the middle column, as well as being in the awful hand section of the wheel. Did that in a very convoluted way, didn't I? 20 black was your latest result. Moving on. Next result on the way, two black numbers and a, apparently two very transparent numbers on the marquee. Let's try and fix this while we're on air, see if we can get that sorted. There we go, would you look at that? And I can hear myself through my phone, that's not good. As we go into another black number, this time number 17. Sticking in the middle dozen once more, another black number, this time low and odd, in the second column, second dozen again, and still in the Orphaland section of the wheel, but on the other side of the wheel. So we've gone from the Orphan to the Orphaland. Actually, it's the other way around, we've gone from the Orphaland to the Orphan. If you want to be pedantic anyway. So, tell me what you think of the new look. It's a little bit different, sort of evolution rather than revolution, isn't it? As we go into our first red number of the day, number 25. Now, 25 is in the voisin section. It's a high odd red number in the first column and the third dozen. So our first foray into the third dozen. And it's time to move on from 25. So we get through roughly two spins a minute. Maybe a few more, maybe a few fewer. Depends on length of spin. Although I reckon we're going to get through at least... Call it 70 spins in the next 42 and a half minutes. We're going to see that marquee get populated and repopulated over and over again. As we go into the huge and the rouge, 36, a red even and high, third column, third dozen, part of the TS section of the wheel. So red 36 is your latest number. And we're going to wait for the confirmation to disappear so we can start all over again from red 36. So, Red 36 has now landed on the marquee. You can see it joining 25, 17, 20, and 15 as your five latest results. Now, they'll, they'll keep shuffling along to the right until we get a brand new number on the very end of the marquee. And our first reoccurring number is 17. 17 out three spins ago, it's still black, odd, and low, middle column, middle dozen, and part of the awful land section of the wheel. Right next door to 25 and not too far from 36 either. But we've given it its moment in the spotlight. We've got to move on. Moving on from 17 to our next result. Six spins in, still plenty more to go. We're averaging a spin just about six spins every four minutes. You do the maths. And we go into number 10. Very black heavy today. Number 10 in the first dozen. Our first foray into the first dozen. Second time in the, f in the first column, though, with number 10, a black even low number, first column, first dozen, and part of the TS section of the wheel, black number 10. So, so far, the Orphalan is actually the hottest section. That doesn't happen very often. We have had, how many is that? 17, 17, and 20. Three spins in the Orphalan. And we are going into the TS this time with number 13. 13 in the TS section of the wheel, it's a black odd and low number, first column and second dozen. Lowest number in the second dozen, black 13. And we're waiting for the confirmation to disappear so I can spin again from 13. Where are we going this time? Only time will tell. 
Now what I am going to do is I'm going to try adjusting this camera here just so that I can get where I'm actually spinning from today in shot. Always nice to do it twice is what I'd be saying if we were one pocket closer, but we're in 36. Huge and rouge, second time out. Third column, third dozen in the TS section of the wheel, a red even and high number, the highest number on the table, in fact. It's red 36. And it's time to move on from 36 to our next number. And the result, black 26. Let's get 26 confirmed. It's the king of the Voisin section because it's actually in the center of the Voisin. 26 black, even and high, middle column in the third dozen, part of the Voisin section of the wheel. And if you're also inclined for an Austro-Germanic section, it's part of the zero spiel as well. But we've got to move on from black 26 to our next result. That was spin number 10. The marquee is over halfway populated now. Predominantly black numbers. You can see there's seven black numbers to only three are red numbers and 36 hot number third column third dozen red even high TR section of the wheel red 36 out for the third time in 11 spins so red 36 your hottest number so far and let's spin from 36 And right next door to 36 is 11. 11, black, old and low. First dozen, middle column, and part of the TR section of the wheel. So we've gone round again, one on the wheel. We did that with 13 and 36. Now we've done it with 36 and 11. And it's time to move on from 11 to our next number. Where are we going this time? Red, black, odd, even, high or low? Or could it be the green zero? Now, zero wasn't very hot last time I was on air on Tuesday. Is that going to be the case today? Who knows? We've still got 37 and three quarter minutes left on the timer. And we are in black 31 in the Orphaland section of the wheel. Been a while since we've been in the Orphaland. I can tell you it's a high odd and black number in the first column in the third dozen. It's black 31. It's on your screens over the hand cam. And should we move on? Let's move on from black 31. Next number on the way, choice of 37 numbers on the game of roulette. If you're playing with a European wheel anyway, this is a single zero wheel, but the American size, which means it's much, much bigger. And from 31, we're going to 32. 32, red even and high, middle column third dozen, part of the voisin section of the wheel. Every number in the middle column third dozen is part of the voisin section of the wheel. So 26, 29, 32 and 35, all in the voisin section. But we've got to move on once more. We've done with 32 for now. You can see there are only five slots remaining on the marquee and all of those are going to get populated in approximately two and a half to three minutes time. And then you will see black 15 drop off the edge and be replaced with the newest number. Always nice to do it twice. There's nothing sweeter than a repeater. 32 in the middle column in the third dozen, a high even and red number in the voisin section of the wheel. Red 32 twice in a row. Should we see if it's three times in a row? Only one way to find out, and that's to wait for the ball to fall. Now, I don't know where the ball's going to fall. I have no control of where the ball was going to fall. If I had that control, I'd be dealing in a high street casino and telling somebody where to play. Black number four is your next result. It's o Owen Lord. I keep saying that at the moment with number four. Black, even and low. In the first column in the first dozen part of the voisin section once more. That is three voisin back to back with black number four. And we're moving on from black number four to our next number. You got me for another 35 and a half minutes. So we're roughly, how much would that be? Two ninths of the way through the session. 23, the Enigma number, middle column, middle dozen, a red odd high number in the TR section of the wheel this time, red 23. 
23 making its debut and it's hogging the limelight there, isn't it? It's time to move on from Red 23 to our next number. What's it going to be this time? Two more slots left on the marquee before that gets fully populated and then we should be able to get some really interesting stats going on in the next half an hour or so. As we go into Alan's favourite number, 19, 19, red, odd and high, lowest of the highs in fact. In the first column in the middle dozen part of the Voisin section of the wheel, it's red 19, it's on your screen. How about that for a little rhyme? <laughs> Moving on. To be fair, I didn't even realise it rhymed until, I, uh, until it fell out of my mouth. But I'm going to use that from now on, red 19 on your screen. It's quite a nice one. Could do it with zero green as well. And from red 19, we're going back into black 31. 31 in the awful land section of the wheel. First column, third dozen, a high, odd and black number. It's black 31. And that is the second time we've seen black 31 in the last 19 spins. So it's twice there on your marquee. And we're moving on from Black 31 to our next number. You can see the fully populated marquee there. It took us, how long was that? Roughly 11 minutes to get 19 spins. So you do the maths with that. To see how many spins we're going to get through. And welcome along to Alan. You've missed a 19, but you've not missed the 22 yet. Black number 10. First column, first dozen. Black even low. In the TS section of the wheel, it's black number 10. Just going to wait for confirmation of 10 to disappear before I re-spin. Hopefully it'll do it very, very soon. There we go. Moving on. How are you today, Alan? It's lovely and sunny here for once. So I'm stuck indoors doing roulette again. Black 24 is the next result in the third column in the middle dozen. A high even and black number in the TR section of the wheel. Black 24 is your latest number. You can see 24's confirmation on your screens. And we're going to move on right about now. There we go, next spin on the way. Two angles of the wheel, of course. You've got the sky cam all the way up there. Let's not obscure the view of the wheel for too long. And we are in black 28 in the voisin section of the wheel in the first column in the third dozen a high black and even number. And you've got the hand cam just there. Can I tickle 28? I wonder. I'd have to look at the screen properly. But anyway, time to move on. I'm glad the weather's nice for you as well. Apparently we've got one, maybe two more days of nice weather. And then ex-Hurricane Humberto is going to hit us. Doesn't sound very fun, does it? But anyway, we were due a bit of bad weather again. We've had it far too nice this year. A red 18 in the low numbers. In the third column in the middle dozen, a low, even a red number. In the voisin section of the wheel, right next door to 22. But we're not quite in it yet. Close, but no banana. Moving on from red 18. For some reason, YouTube now emails me to tell me that I'm live. Like, I know I'm live, I pressed the button. And it really bugs me because I get a notification on my phone. 15's the next result. Climbing down the third column. 15, a low autumn black number in the third column in the second dozen and part of the voisin section of the wheel, black 15. You can see it just there. Tapping the corner of 15, moving on. So today, expect a few no spins because the wheel is freshly polished. Everything's slippery. Everything's shiny, but very, very slippery. So I'm expecting a couple of no spins. Black 29 in the Voisin section of the wheel. A high odd and black number, second column, third dozen. And as I said earlier, every number, second column, third dozen is part of the Voisin section of the wheel. And it is time to move on from Black 29.
and the result number 15. 15 is now Joint's hottest number, I do believe, along with 36. 15, a black even and low, black even and low number. Yes, I was correct. Black even and low in the middle dozen in the third column part of the Voisin section of the wheel. Black 15. Moving on from 15 to our next number. What's it going to be this time? And the number is 20. 2 0. 20 is a black and even number in the second dozen between 19 and 36. You can also find 20 in the second column and the awful land section of the wheel, black number 20. You can totally read, I was re you can totally tell I was reading that off the screen. That went round three times just about. Seven. See what I mean? Slippery wheel. Seven, a red odd number in the first dozen between one and 18 in the first column and the voisin section of the wheel. Don't ask me how that happened. I'm going to have to watch that one back later. There we go. Bit of power in the spin. My hand just slipped and I got no friction on the wheel. That was probably the closest I've got to a no-spin without actually getting a no-spin. Quite impressed with myself for that. Number three is the next number. Let's get three up in lights. I can tell you three is red and odd in the first dozen between one and 18 in the third column and the voisin section of the wheel. Three is also in the zero spiel, if you are interested at all in the zero spiel. Don't know anybody that is, but you know, I'll mention it anyway. There we go. There's no friction at the moment on the wheel, which is causing a bit of an issue. So when it's newly polished, my spins get a little bit rubbish. But then after I've broken it in again, the spins are the best they can be. Number 10 is the next number. 10 is a black and even number in the first dozen between 1 and 18 and in the first column. And the TS section of the wheel, it's 10 black or black 10. Pick your potato. Both mean the same. Right, moving on from number 10. I should really learn to spin on the hand on screen with the hand cam. Let me just move some furniture around. Hopefully that my mic doesn't pick up the sound of a table moving too loudly. Too loudly? Some form of English there. 12's the next result. 12, a red and even number in the first dozen between 1 and 18 in the third column and part of the voisin section of the wheel. I shall remember those, Flutter Fiesta and Double or Quits. It's Music Monday, of course, on the 23rd, and I suppose I should spin, actually, shouldn't I? That'd be a clever idea. If you could hear something that sounded like a penny dropping then, it was because I dropped a couple of coins while trying to get a notepad. Number four, black even and low, in the first column in the first dozen parts of the voisin section of the wheel. Number four is the latest result. You can see four on your marquee twice there. And it is time to move on. And the number right next door to four is 21. 21 is a roulette odd and low high number. <laughs> Let's start that again. 21, a red odd in the second dozen between 19 and 36 in the third column and the voisin section of the wheel, red 21. And we'll move on from 21. And that next number is red number 30, three zero. 30 is a red and even number in the third dozen between 19 and 36. It's in the third column and part of the TR section of the wheel. It's red 
number 30. Let's move on from 30. And we are in number 25. 25, a red and odd number in the third dozen between 19 and 36. It's in the first column and it's part of the voisin section of the wheel. And just up here, there we go. I have written it down on a post-it note for you. So let's put that on my monitor and then let's spin. Moving on from red 25. Now 25 has been out a total of two times today. We've got three hot numbers at the moment, 10, 15, and 36. Two of those in the TR, one of them in the Voisin. And the number is 29, 29 in the Voisin section of the wheel. So 29 is a black and odd number in the third dozen between 19 and 36. It's in the middle column and it is part of the Voisin section of the wheel. It's black, 29. And we're getting a brand new result on the way. That was spin number 36. We've got 23 and a half minutes left. We're just shy of halfway through this session. About 10 minutes ago, we were two ninths of the way through, and now we are rocketing through. We're over the hump, as it were, as we go into red 32. Third time out in the last 37 spins. Red 32 is a red even and high number in the third dozen in the middle column part of the Voisin section of the wheel, Red 32. And we're going to get rid of it and replace it with another number. Where's it going to go this time? That is the question. I don't know where the ball's going to fall. Can't even make an educated guess. If you thought it was in five, though, you'd be absolutely spot on. Five, a red and odd number in the first dozen. Between one and 18, it's in the second column once more and in the TR section of the wheel. So red number five is on your screens. And let's get rid of it. My clockwise ball is getting more power again now that I've polished the wheel. But my anti-clockwise ball... Oh, it's awful at the moment. Because the anti-clockwise ball relies on an awful lot more friction. The way I spin, anyway. So when it's all loose, it just doesn't work. Don't take that out of context as we go into Sweet 16. 16, a red and even number in the middle dozen. Between 1 and 18 in the first column and part of the TR section of the wheel. It's red, number 16. Let's move on. So I'm having to use an awful lot more elbow than I like to use when I spin clock anti-clockwise with a clockwise wheel. Normally it's all in the fingers, but at the moment not so much. Black number six is the latest number. Black number six is a black and even number in the first dozen between one and 18 in the third column and part of the awful land section of the wheel. So last time we were in the awful land was with black number 20, more than halfway across the marquee, but we are back in it now. And we're moving on from black number six to our next number. You've got a choice of 37 different pockets the ball could fall into. And at the moment we have not fallen into zero, one or two, eight or nine, 14, 22, 27, 33, 34 or 35. And we are in number eight, the snowman. One of those numbers we hadn't seen, it is out now though. So number eight, it is a black and even number in the first dozen between one and 18 in the second column and part of the TR section of the wheel. It's black, number eight. And we're moving on from number eight to our next result. 41 spins in and over halfway through. So we're gonna get through around about 75 spins, I should say in the next well in total in the 45 minutes and we are in number 18 18 the highest of the low numbers so 18 is red and even in the middle dozen between 1 and 18 in the third column and part of the voisin section of the wheel it's red and it's 18 and it's time to move on from 18 
I think 22 has gone into hibernation. We've got painstakingly close a couple of times in the last session. We've been in 18 twice now, but we've not been in 9. I think we've been in 29. Number 7 is the next result. I'll have a look at the stats after I've confirmed number 7. So 7 is a red and odd number in the first dozen. It's between 1 and 18 in the first column and part of the voisin section of the wheel. Back-to-back -back voisin numbers. Let's move on from number 7. So looking at the neighbours of 22. We've been in 31 twice. We've not been in 9 at all. We have been in 29 twice and we've been in 18 twice. And we're in the big green zero, not in any of the outside chances, columns or dozens, but it is in the voisin de zero section of the wheel. It's zero, it's green, and it's on your screen. Big green zero, let's wait for the confirmation to move on so we can move on as well. There we go. I think at this rate we're going to have to send a search party out for the number 22. It's just been awfully quiet. I think it... It had a big hurrah in July, and since then, I suppose even in August it was quite hot, eventually. But at the moment, it was just so cold. But can I tempt you with a 19 instead, because that's what we've got now. 19, a, a red and odd number, between 19 and 36 in the second dozen, in the first column, and part of the voisin section of the wheel. So a big chain of voisin, well I say a big chain, four voisin back to back. And we're going to spin from 19. So at least 19 has been out twice now. At least you've got one of your favourite numbers off the mark. And I know 19 is your absolute favourite number, isn't it? Black 26, sticking in the voisin section of the wheel. So 26, it's a black and even number. In the third dozen, it's between 19 and 36 in the second column. And it's part of the voisin section of the wheel. It's black 26. Let's move on. And from 26 we go down the middle column to 11. So 11, it's a black and odd number in the first dozen, between 1 and 18, in the second column once more, and in the tier section of the wheel. So we are back in the tier, and the last time we were in there was with number 8. Moving on from 11, let's see where we go this time. So 37 different pockets the ball can fall into. It has to go into one of them, otherwise it's a no-spin. And in the event of a no-spin, I re-spin from the previous number. Big green zero, out for the second time. Zero, not in any of the outside chances, columns or dozens, but it is in the voisin section of the wheel. So you were born, if I remember correctly, on the 19th of November. And... Keanu was born on the 22nd of August, and I remember that because if you add those both together, you get 30. So back when we had our last 22 droughts, I was recommending that maybe you play 30 as well. Anyway, we've moved on from the big green zero, not in any of the outside chances, columns or dozens, but it is in the voisin section. Couldn't remember if I said it, so I thought I'd say it again. Number 12, my friend Niall's favourite number because he was born on the 12th. 12th of what month? We'll have to find out later when that month comes in. So 12, a red and even number in the first dozen between 1 and 18 in the third column and part of the voisin section of the wheel. Let's move on. I do believe that my friend Niall is named after Niall Quinn, the Manchester City player, but I'm not sure if that's true or not. Could just be a rumour. As we go into red number one, another number we hadn't yet seen. Red one, back in the awful land, in the first column, in the first dozen, a red, odd and low number in the awful land section of the wheel. Number one has been confirmed and it's time to spin. 
So we are still missing 2 and 9, 14 and 22, 33, 34 and 35. So we are missing 3 numbers in the low numbers and 4 numbers in the high numbers. Number 24, we've seen that a few times today, and by a few times I mean this is its second time out. 24, it's a black and even number in the second dozen in 19 to 36, the high numbers. It's in the third column and it's part of the TS section of the wheel, of course 24 being the highest number in the middle dozen. Middle and second, always interchangeable in the game of roulette. Some people call it the second dozen, some people call it the middle dozen. I'm trying to mix it up a little bit because I've called it the middle dozen for almost a decade now. Same with the third dozen, some people call it the final dozen. I'm not so much a fan of that. Red number nine in the third column in the first dozen. A low, odd and red number in the awful hands section of the wheel. So we've had two awful hands in the last three spins. Red number nine, another one of those debutant numbers. Let's move on. I think this is the one that I use to launch normally. So what happens is when I start the playlist, when I open the streaming software, this is the one that gets me in the mood. Red 27, another number we hadn't yet seen. 27 is a red and odd number in the third dozen in the high numbers 19 to 36. It's in the third column and part of the TS section of the wheel. Red 27, my favorite number. Moving on from 27. Just shy of 13 and a half minutes left. We are over two thirds of the way through this session, but dry your eyes, I shall be back on Monday for full roulette action again. From 27 we go to 34, another number we were yet to see. We're crossing these off like they're Something to do with hotcakes is what I was going for. 34, a red and even number in the third dozen between 19 and 36 in the first column and part of the awful land section of the wheel. It's a good one, this one. It just sets, sets me in the right mood because some music can be a little bit too slow or a little bit too fast. This is middle of the road in all the best possible ways. We are in legs 11. Let's get black 11 confirmed. It is the hot number jointly now. I can tell you it's a black and odd number in the first dozen, between 1 and 18, in the second column, and part of the TS section of the wheel. And we're moving on from 11 black to our next number. Trouble is, this song feels like it should end about 10 different times. You feel like you're going to get to the closing couple of bars, and it never does. Number 20 is the next result. Now that is joint hottest as well. So black number 20 is black and even in the second dozen between 19 and 36 in the second column and part of the awful land section of the wheel. Black number 20. Moving on from black number 20, I can tell you that's your hottest numbers at the moment, we've got six of them. 15, 20, 36, 10, 11 and 32, all on three spins. Song's finished now, I think. Yeah, there we go. Red 27 is your next result. Out for the first time a few spins ago and it's out again now. So red 27, it's red and odd in the third dozen between 19 and 36 in the third column and part of the Tierre section of the wheel. So at the moment we are alternating Orphelin and Tierre. So from 24 we went Orphelin, Tierre. No, from number one I beg your pardon, we went Orphelin, Tierre, Orphelin, Tierre, Orphelin, Tierre, Orphelin, Tierre. Will that carry on? I can tell you it won't because we're in black 13. Black 13, still in the tier though, in the first column in the middle dozen. A black odd and low number in the TS section of the wheel, it is black 13. Not quite sure if I'm going to keep this particular bit of music in the playlist. It's got a bit too much of a build up and then it just suddenly changes. So we have this really weird beat to get into the, uh, to get into the meat of the music as it were and then it just goes in a completely different direction. 
23 the enigma number 23 it's a red nod number in the second dozen it's between 19 and 36 it's in the second column and it's in the tr section of the wheel a red 23 you know what just for a laugh or just for fun i'm gonna spin left-handed there we go I'm not very good at spinning left-handed, but every so often I do like to throw one in, just to just to mix it up a little bit. This is spin number 60, by the way, 6-0. And spin number 60 is black number 20, hot number. Black number 20, it's a black and even number in the second dozen. Between 19 and 36, it's in the second column, and it's in the awful hand section of the wheel, black number 20. And confirmation has disappeared. Oh, that wheel is far too quick, really. I do apologise for that wheel. I shall remember to slow it down for the next spin. Sweet 16 is the next result. So, Sweet 16 is there. Let me just slow the wheel down just a little bit so we can see Sweet 16. There we go. 16, it's red and even in the second dozen between 1 and 18 in the first column and part of the TS section of the wheel, sweet 16. We've moved on from sweet 16. This has been number 62. Our marquee has been populated well over four times now, hasn't it? No, well over three times. Results 25. 25 in the Voisin section of the wheel. It's a welcome return to the Voisin. It is a red nod number in the third dozen between 19 and 36, and it's in the first column, and it is now on its third appearance of the day. Moving on from 25 to our next number. So 25 is on its third appearance, and that means it is joint second hottest with 15, 36, 10, 11, and 32. So we've got six numbers all on three spins. Not much variance between hot and cold so far today. We are in black number two, another number we were yet to see. Black number two, it is a black and even number in the first dozen, between one and 18, in the second column, and in the voisin section of the wheel, it's black number two. And we're moving on from black number two. That means we are only missing four numbers. The only low number we're missing is 14, and then we're missing 22, 33, and 35. So we're missing one awful land number, one Tier number, and two Voisin numbers. And 29 is your next result. 29, it is a black and odd number in the third dozen. Between 19 and 36 in the middle column and in the Voisin section of the wheel, Another number on three spins. It's black, 29. Moving on from black, 29. That was just laziness then, because my right hand was further away from the wheel, so I just thought, why not spin left-handed? I prefer my right-handed forehand spin, but never mind. It got a 27, so it's not all bad. 27 is the next result. It's a red nod number in the third dozen between 19 and 36 in the third column, and it's in the TR section of the wheel. All the threes for anything in the third column, third dozen, all in the TR as well. Moving on from 27 to our next result. I'll start spinning right-handed again after this, I think. I'm actually left-handed as well, but my right-handed spin is so much better because I got, I was trained to spin right-handedly. Right-handedly? Right-handed, essentially. Black 31, a warmish number, another one on three spins. We've got a plethora on three spins now. It's a black and odd number in the third dozen, in 19 to 36, the high numbers in the first column. And it's in the awful hand section of the wheel. We were so close. We were in the neighbours of 22 then. That's progress. We've been in the neighbours of 22 twice in the last three spins. We're 29 and 31. And now we're nowhere near because it's black number six. Six is black and it's even. Let's turn that music down a little bit. Maybe not that much. 
I'll confirm. Six has been confirmed. I'll tell you about six after I've respun. There we go. So six, black and even in the first dozen, between one and 18, in the third column and part of the awful land section of the wheel. Under five minutes left now. We are eight ninths of the way through. I tell you what, it doesn't feel like I've done a supersized session. We are back in 11. One T1 if you like. So 11, it's black and it is odd in the first dozen. Between 1 and 18 in the second column and part of the TR section of the wheel. It's black and it's 11. Wasn't quite sure where I was going with that. Anyway, moving on from 11. Where are we going to go next? 14, 22, 33 and 35. The four numbers we have yet to see. Doubt we're going to get full completion because this session is a one-off special session. We're going to start a week session afresh from number 23 at the beginning of the week. Big green zero, not in any of the outside chances, columns or dozens, but it is in the Voisin section of the wheel. It fell off the mark here a few spins ago, but it's back in now. Waiting for zero's confirmation to disappear. And now let's re-spin. The other day when I was spinning, I became very conscious of the way I reversed the direction of the wheel. It never really happens. But I just looked at my hand in the hand cam and I thought, that looks really weird. And from zero, we go to huge and rouge, 36. So from the lowest number to the highest number. 36, it's red and even in the third dozen, between 19 and 36, in the third column and part of the TR section of the wheel. So for my clockwise ball, it doesn't look so weird. But for my anti-clockwise ball, I actually reverse the direction with my middle finger on the back side of a fret. Which is a sentence I never thought I'd say, but here we are on the 20th of September 2019, and I'm talking about fingering the back side of a fret. A red number three in the third column in the first dozen. A red odd and low number in the voisin section of the wheel. Or waiting for confirmation of three to disappear off your screens. And let's respin. I know last week I was test streaming because my friend is going to be doing a few voiceovers. For little uh, little clips I can play when I need to go off air for five or so minutes. Black number six is the next result, so I was showing him how that works. So black number six is a black and even number in the first dozen, between one and eighteen in the third column and in the awful land section of the wheel. Black number six. So yeah, back properly from Monday. I've missed doing roulette because I've hardly spun in the interim. I managed to get my other wheel sold. That's still to the left of me, awaiting delivery, but that one is on its way to pastures new. It's a lovely wheel, but surplus to requirements, and I'm sticking with the TCS wheel, my favourite wheel. I say it's my favourite wheel, and then it produces a 13. I could change my mind, I could sell you instead, wheel. Black 13 in the first column in the middle dozen. A black and odd number between 1 and 18, and in the TS section of the wheel. So my friend Mike, he is a genius with an awful lot of things, and he shall be helping me out with a few voiceovers, because it gets a little bit monotonous having my voice. I thought we were going in 22 then, but no, 18. 18 in the Voisin section of the wheel, it's a red and even number in the second dozen, between 1 and 18, and in the third column it's red 18. And I'm going to say we've got three more spins left. So this is spin number 75. Auto wheels, we're talking five figures minimum for a good auto wheel. 13, in, out, and in again. 13, it's a black and odd number in the first column in the middle dozen. It's between 1 and 18, and it's in the TS section of the wheel. So yeah, an auto wheel, upwards of 10 grand at least. Because a really, really nice uh, Huxley Saturn can easily take... Uh, can't get my words out, can easily set you back 10 grand at the very least. 
23, the enigma number, was the penultimate spin. So we've got one more spin left. So auto wheels, very, very expensive, and very, very expensive to maintain as well, because you've got to keep getting compressed air, and eventually it will run out. The thing I don't like about auto wheels, as we go for the final spin, the thing I don't like about auto wheels is that when, when it has a no spin, it just falls into a random pocket and then re-spins. I like the ball going back in the original pocket to carry on the continuity of the game. And we're finishing with a repeater. 23, the Enigma number. I probably wouldn't buy an auto wheel because it's too loud and I think I might irritate the neighbours. But if money wasn't an object and if I had a soundproof room, I totally would get one. 23, by the way, a red and odd number in the second dozen, between 19 and 36 in the second column and in the TR section of the wheel. Would you look at that? The wheel mysteriously respun. Try not to finish on repeaters, because you never know it could be a Trevelina. However, I would buy a really, really high quality Huxley wheel in a heartbeat if I had the money. We are finishing with number two. Two, a black and even number in the first dozen, between 1 and 18 in the second column, and in the voisin section of the wheel. And can you believe that's it done? 45 minutes just like that. So, we have finished this session. So there's only one more thing left for me to do, and that is for me to stop the wheel with 23 just at the 12 o'clock position. Move it back just a little bit. Take the ball out of number 2, put it in 23 because it's the 23rd of September on Monday, and we are done. Another week of roulette over. A small week, but a week of roulette nonetheless. I shall be back on Monday. I have appointments with a nursey lady, nursey lady with a nurse to get an injection to keep me, uh, to keep me, let's start that again. I've got an appointment with a nurse on Monday morning. Uh, to give me vitamin B12, which is something that I am very deficient in, which is what caused the illness earlier in the month and August and tail end of July. So once I've got that done, may get a little bit more sleep, so lunchtime-ish on Monday is when I am planning on being back. But as always, it has been a pleasure to spin for you for the last 45 and a bit minutes. I'm now off to wet my whistle because my throat is absolutely killing me. Thank you all so much for watching. A big extra thank you to Alan, and I'll see you all on Monday for some more spins.